Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, I'll talk about all the biggest confusions among students when they decide to join PhD program. And the confusion is whether they should join a big institutions which is very renowned for its research and which has a big brand value or whether they should join a good research lab under a good guide which is doing great research in a specific area of research in which you might be interested in. And this decision, you know, which institution will be joining and under whom you will be doing your PhD, that is really a big deal because next five years of your PhD life, you will be spending there. You will be doing your PhD under that guide and you will be, you know, spending your life in that particular institution. So that's why if you didn't take a right choice, then maybe your next five years of PhD will be in trouble. So that's why this decision is very crucial uh, before you join a PhD program. And what I have seen among the students uh, that, you know, they often choose the institutions over the research lab whenever they are deciding for PhD. They often go for the best institutions uh, which is available there. So suppose if you take the example of, uh, you know, engineering in, in India, I have seen people, you know, whenever they decide to go for PhD, they choose IIC and IIT Bombay because they are kind of the prime institutions in our country who is doing great research in science and technology. So whenever students get IIC and IIT Bombay and if, if they get some other IITs also, they blindly go for IIC and IIT Bombay and they, do, they don't look into the research labs of other IITs. So that is, I think, I think it's not a good decision and why that is not a good decision why you should also check the research labs in different IITs and based on that you should go uh, go for a PhD that I'm going to discuss in this video so if you want to know in detail about everything please do watch the video till end and before starting the video I always say uh, if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly without further ado let's get started into today's video so the point is in PhD or in institutions matter less and the most important thing is that which group or research lab you are part of with and under whom you are pursuing your PhD. Unlike in MTech or BTech you, where your sole purpose is to get a job after your MTech and BTech curriculum, their actually institution matters because if your institution has very huge brand value then you will get a good job with a high package in your on campus placement or even in the off campus placements also. So in MTech or BTech the brand of the institutions matter. But in PhD, the whole idea is different. In PhD, you are expected to do good research in that uh, five years uh, of period that is given in, in your PhD tenure. So that's why it's very important that in your PhD, you are part of a very good research lab where you have other researchers doing great research in a particular area of uh, research under a, under supervision of a very good uh, guide. So that's why having a good guide is very important for your PhD life. Now working in a very good research lab has many advantages. The first advantage is that whenever you'll be joining PhD in the initial few years or few days you will have a lot of confusions because you are entering to this system of research for the first time the whole thing will be new for you and that time you need some senior people to help you in your initial days. So, so, so if you have a good amount of researchers, senior researchers in your research lab, then they will help you to understand the whole research procedure. They might help you to choose uh, different courses that is relevant for your research work. They might help you to choose research paper that you have to go through before finding the research problem. And maybe they will help you how to how to read the research paper, how to do experiments, how, how to how to use different tools that is relevant for your research. And maybe they, they might help you to find the problem statement of your PhD work. So all of these things that is very important that you have to do in your initial days of PhD. And if you have some amount of good researchers or experienced researchers in a, in a specific research lab which you are part of with, then that is actually added bonus because all of these things you can't expect your guide to do because your guide most of the time he or she will be very busy with with all of other things that a professor is to do so that's why they can't give you enough dedicated time to do all of these things so in that that case your senior researchers who is part of a research lab they will actually help you so that's why if you are a part of very good and big research lab for your phd where you have a lot of senior researchers 
uh, working there that is actually an added bonus for your PhD program. Next is a good research lab will give you a good research environment where you will find other researchers doing a lot of hard work and publishing paper regularly and that will motivate you, motivate you to do a lot of hard work yourself also and publish something by your own and this is very crucial for your PhD life because if you have a healthy competition among uh, the others in your research lab that is actually works as a positive catalyst for your growth so in a, in a good research lab you can always discuss ideas with others uh, you can you can share ideas you can learn from the others and overall you will grow together as a group and that will be helpful for you next is if you are a part of a good research lab then you will easily get good industry collaboration for your phd work because whenever this different industry used to collaborate with a professor they don't look for the institutions they just look for the professor's profile and the profile of that particular research lab they see the kind of publication that is coming out from the research lab and if they found that that particular lab is doing great research on a specific area of research they always fund the professor the research lab and they collaborate with with the different students in the research lab so that's why if you are part of a research lab where your guide is very famous, other research members, whatever the publications that they are doing, that is well renowned among the industry, you will easily get industry funding, industry collaboration and, and maybe you will find, find some internship also in different industry and that will be helpful for your PhD program. Next thing is if you are a part of a good research lab, there won't be any issue related to funding. Now project funding or research funding is a big thing in research without funding you can't carry out the research because you need funding in many cases. First of all, you need funding to you know purchase different instrument for your experiment like in computer science we need systems, we need server. Uh, we need different storages and lot of things we need for our PhD program and also you know whenever we publish a paper in conference uh, then also we need funding we need funding to register for the conference then you know if you have to visit the conference then you need money uh, for your travel expenses hotel then you know food and all so funding is a big thing and 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 often you know in a, in a big research lab lot of projects uh, used to be going on so that's why there won't be any you know lack of funding uh, you will easily get funding uh, from a good research lab on the other hand if you are not a part of a good research lab if you're if you're part of a very small research lab and your professor is also not that much influential then you might find that you are not getting funding to you know to purchase different instruments or maybe to uh, visit the conference and all so that's why being a part of a good research lab is is always have this uh, advantage that there will be no lack of money anytime whenever you will need it the final advantage is your guide if your guide is really influential if he's really renowned uh, for his research work that is also added bonus because whenever your, your guide will be visiting different industry or industry program or different works of conferences he might uh, you know you might uh, visit with him and he might introduce yourself to other 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 professors or other other researchers and that will give you a kind of promotion or your your face will be recognized among the research uh, research community so if your if your guide is a famous or influential that actually helps you to get kind of a spotlight and and people will know you that you are working under that guide and that is also important because at the end of your phd program uh, you you whenever you will be, you will be seeking for uh, different jobs into different industry or in the academia uh, the influence of your guide also matters so that's why part of a good research lab under an influential researcher will help you at the end of your PhD program when you'll be looking for a job because by that time people will know you and that will be advantage for you now all these factors that I have just mentioned that is having good researchers in your lab having a good research lab then having good uh, collaboration from the industry funding your research uh, your your guides image everything that that doesn't doesn't related to the institutions that comes independent of the institution so that's why you know your research lab is more important than the institutions because suppose if you if you don't look into the research lab and blindly join a, a best institution like isc and maybe you know isc we all know it's a, it's a great research institution doing great research overall in science and technology but it might happen that in a, your specific area of research isc is not doing good great research so then what will happen is once you join isc you won't find a good research lab meeting all the criteria that i just mentioned so you might join a very small research lab 
there you there is not much uh, senior researchers available you hardly find any industry collaborations funding will also be an issue and and your guide as he or she is very busy he can give you uh, he or she can give you enough time in your initial days then what will happen is your whole process of phd won't be that smooth and after few days you will feel frustrated because you you will you will, you will struggle uh, to find the research problem by your own because there is no senior research member to help you and also you know you won't be getting easily the collaborations funding a lot of issue will be going on so that's why you will be frustrated even though you are a part of a so called great institution so that's why i suggest you that don't go blindly with the research institutions obviously if you are getting a good research lab in isc go for it join it but before joining phd have a survey on different research lab Uh, which is working on a specific area of interest to in which you are interested in and see which is meeting the criteria which i have just mentioned and go for that particular research lab and then choose the institution so so institutions comes later first you should choose the research lab who is doing good research and then the institution having said that when i'm trying to say you that don't choose institutions by by its brand value i am not encouraging you to join below tier college for your phd that is not something that i'm trying to say what i'm trying to say is so suppose if you get a offer from iisc iit bombay and some other iit so was iit kanpur or iit khadapur don't go blindly with iisc and iit bombay see the research lab that is working on your area of research and if you find some lab which is doing great research in iit kanpur and iit kharagpur go with that lab don't go blindly with isc iit bombay because once you join isc and iit bombay you then you won't find a good research lab there to carry out your research so that's what is my point uh, point that i'm trying to say that all these iits isc they are almost of similar brand value obviously uh, rank wise isc iit bombay overall they are a bit better than the other iits but it's not that much so if a specific area of research a research lab is doing good research in other iits and if you want to do your phd in that area of research you must choose other iits over isc and iit bombay yeah that's it guys that's it about this video i hope this video will be helpful for future aspirants uh, who, who who is thinking of joining phd uh, maybe in the coming years and this is one of the biggest confusions people have that whether they should go for a good institutions or go good guide and i personally also have at this uh, confusions uh, during my mtec days so that's why i thought let's share this video so that people have a clear understanding about everything and they don't do the mistake like many people used to do so if you have any uh, query regarding this particular uh, topic please let me know in the comment section i'll try to answer them there and any specific topic you want to make me a video please let me know in the comment section i'll try to make it and if you are new to this particular channel first of all please like this video and share this video to many other people and 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 subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly that's it about this video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye